sports center. Yeah. Right, so think about this. Put your heads together and give us a call at 1-800-283-101.5. We simply want to know what is your favorite scary movie? What is a great scary movie? They're coming to get you, Bob. This is mine. Stop it. You're I'm in mocking you. It ought to be, but I know you're just mocking it. But uh, to me, and I'm not going to put my own in the post on the website, by the way. This will be only for the listeners. So if you want to take part in this, in 1.3 on miles, post, take exit 315 on right to I 469. But if it were just my list, yeah, as bad and as low budget as it was, Night of the Living Dead to me was the scariest movie of all time. It's too full. I, I understand. I was so little. I should not have even been seeing a movie like that, which is why it affected me so much. No, I get it. I do get it. I admit that. But you have to admit, though, like dollar for dollar, they said that that movie, uh, for, for the longest time, I think it held a record for uh, the greatest percentage return. Until Blair Witch came. Maybe was that it? Was it, was, was, did, did Blair Witch finally take it away? Yeah, and you know, and it wasn't that it was such like a blockbuster versus it was just so cheap to produce. I mean, the actors probably worked for pretty much nothing, which is what most of them deserve. Take exit 315 on right. July 4, 1690. The very first, uh, if not the first, what was eventually called like a gore slasher kind of movie. It was the first zombie movie, wasn't it? I think it was the first zombie movie. Uh, yeah, I think I, I I believe it was. Yeah. So yeah, to me that would definitely be on it. But uh, give us a really really good scary movie pick. Simple as that. One eight hundred two eight three one zero one point five. Here's Johnny. Okay, I wouldn't vote for that one, but I had the drop. Yeah. That movie uh, that movie had great potential, and I, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but and I know you and I agree on this because it's come up before that Jack Nicholson just looked kind of nuts to be with. Especially if you read the book. You know, it's kind of a mild-mannered teacher. Yes. And Drive 9.6 kind of like miles on I-469 East. For his soul, whichever way you literally interpret the book. And, and he kind of slowly descends into madness. But he doesn't start that way. But when you cast Nicholson in anything, he looks like he's got a creature double feature. It was a creature feature. And I just remember, well, I mean, maybe there, maybe that's what they did, but yeah, I know where I was, because I got, like, New York channels, and they just did a creature feature. So you guys had it, you guys had it better. Yeah, we did. Um, uh, the movie that scared the bejesus out of me was The Shining, and the, the uh, those twins, when they would open up, and the, uh, elevator would open up, and the blood would come 